and everything shape-wise happens from the top view down. That's why I love the top angle because the top view down shows the shape of the haircut. The front view shows the elevation of the haircut. Is it layered? Is it graduated? Is it one length? That's how you look at it, right? But let's take the, the back in the day, how they taught it um, is circle. So a round shape would be following the round of the head. This is all horizontal, right? This isn't up and down. This is horizontally around the head. So you see that circle, right? Just like that. Now we change it up. Now we have a square shape. So everything stays balanced. So when you think about how you would hold everything, let me grab a different color comb. When you're here on the head, I pull this out and I cut everything in this square line and it's gonna go like this. Because I'm on a round shape, this hair is, doesn't take as long to get to my comb as this hair in the corner does. So when this hair in the corner comes to my comb, you got that, and this hair here comes to my comb, look how much further that hair in the corner, this hair here, takes to get to it, about another inch. So what's gonna happen when I cut this in a straight line, a square line in the back, it's going to fall a little bit longer because of the round of the head, the head starting to push away, right? So when I say balanced, because I think square confuses people um, and triangle and circle, to me, it was a little bit confusing because when you say I'm gonna cut a triangular haircut, some people think it's like, it's from the front view. Some people are taught in school that round is this. And that's fine. That doesn't make it wrong. What I'm saying isn't right either, right? Because this is round if you follow the round of the head this way. It is. Some people think a square haircut would look like this. It's a box sitting on the head. But that's not what I'm talking about. I want to talk about the flow of the weight horizontally in a haircut. I call it balanced because we're cutting a line that just stays balanced in the back. If I cut a closed line, it's gonna go more towards the face. It's gonna close off the face with the weight. We're pushing all that weight to the front of the head. If I cut an open shape on the head, I wanna pull the hair off of the face and open the face up, right? So those are the three things that I'm focused on. So in the back here, if I cut a balanced shape short on the back, I'm still gonna get a little weight in the corner. So if I go open, I cut a round shape, and now every single piece of that hair is coming around and touching the comb at the same length. So now we don't have weight. When I get to the next section, so we're about to go into the next section, and now I can shift that from being not open anymore to then closing it off, right? And if I close it off, I push a little length and weight towards the front, but I've held on to the same length all the way around the head so I don't get too much weight. And then all of a sudden I cut it so it gets a little bit longer. Or I cut an open haircut around the head. Everything's open, I'm following the head shape. And then I decide I wanna balance it off. So this will all come out. This will be the shortest point because we're on a round surface right here in the center. And then this will be a little bit longer. So we'll get a little extra length in the front, but it won't look extreme. So we got decisions to make. <laughs>